John Cena, it's an absolute pleasure to Thank meet you. you. The film is a blast. Thank you Reviews very much. have been great. Thank you. Uh, did you get a chance to see with an audience at, at South by Southwest and to see that response? That was not only a chance for me to see with the audience, but it was the first time I saw the movie. So it was very special, very special to be able to laugh when I thought there was humor, but also to feel a full theater enjoying jokes that I didn't even know would play. And like, it just really, it was a great way to see the movie for the first time. That must be slightly terrifying though, especially for comedy, because there's, there's such an immediate audience reaction to yeah, it. Yeah, but I mean, you do your best when you film and you, you have trust in the people around you. Kay's a wonderful director. I know everybody involved in putting the movie together, Nobody, everybody worked their ass off. So if we miss, it ain't gonna be because we didn't work hard, you know? And from your career point, is there a natural gravita gravitization towards comedy at this point? I just think a lot of the laughs come from the fact that people know me so well from what I've been doing with WWE over the yeah. years. And a lot of that comedy is, is playing against that type or, or playing directly towards it. And uh, it is fun, but it doesn't limit me to just telling jokes. Like uh, you can do a movie like The Wall or Bumblebee coming up or some other stuff down the road that's maybe a, a different sort of deal. But being seen as a PG, good guy character for 15 years, when you when you kind of flip it, it's it's funny. It's funny, and I realize that, and I'm not afraid to embarrass myself or go out there and, and be the butt of the joke. And uh, looking at Trainwreck really was, was the film that launched you, I suppose, in, in that comedy spectrum at least. Uh, how much did Trainwreck and that performance change your career or change the trajectory oh, you of your career? I would not be sitting here talking with you about this movie if it wasn't for Amy Schumer, Judd Apatow, and, and everyone associated with that environment, not only having faith in me to, to, to say, hey, we'd like you to do this movie, but making the environment comfortable enough for me to take risks, to take foolish risks like a lot of the stuff you saw in the movie. Um, it, it made me feel comfortable enough to be like, eh, you know, if I tell a joke and I miss it, I'm not gonna get fired, it's not the end of the world, go for it. And, mm -hmm. and it was specifically that experience that, that kind of has, has shed my fear of, I wonder what people will think. I'll do my best and then let them edit out all the trash that doesn't make the cut. And just to talk about the WWE for a second, Ronda Rousey's moved over from the UFC yeah. into the WWE and she's, she's doing really, really well. Yes. Obviously Brock Lesnar's kind of gone back and forth between the yes. both, CM Punk's gone over and fought. Yes. Is there anybody on the roster at the moment that you think could go over into the UFC and actually compete? I don't know why they would want to. Yeah. I, uh, I guess I'm just a sucker for what we do. I mean, uh, I, you look at an individual like Brock and I think he's really drawn towards what the Octagon offers, but I more like what we do because I'm sitting here talking with you about a story. We tell stories in WWE and that's, that's what I like m the most. So I can't put myself in the shoes of like, I would wanna go do this in the Octagon. I'd wanna go do this, talk to you about another fun story. And the, the biggest athlete in Ireland, or the biggest name in Ireland at the moment, is, is, is Conor McGregor. Absolutely. How would you think Conor would do? Because there's been he a bit talk do, about him going over to the he WWE would do so much. Fantastic. He would absolutely. He'd, hell, he put me out of work. <laughs> he would. He is. He gets the entertainment aspect of sport, and I think he gets it as good or better than anyone else. The way he um, promoted the fight against Mayweather. That's what we do. And he, he did it as good or better than us. So I hope one day, if you're out there watching and you want to come to WWE, he would, he would be a fantastic WWE superstar. But then again, that's out of my hands. So we put the question out there about if anybody had any questions for you on the entertainment.ie social media. And people wanted to know what your training list was, what, what music you use as a playlist in the gym. Good. Obviously there's a scene of you, I don't want to ruin anything, but there's a scene of you shirtless towards the film that's kind of intimidating for everybody in the audience. You're obviously in great shape. What music, do you have a playlist that you use, certain this music is, you listen this to? This is gonna kill everybody. <laughs> I actually don't listen to music when I train. Really? Yes, because a lot of the stuff is multi-joint power stuff. And um, my training partner and I try to fire on all cylinders. So we literally will conversate about a lot of stuff. Uh, that's where a lot of like, it's, it's not what you would think. It is intense, uh, it is strong, it is trying to ask the most of your body, but it does not need a drum beat to achieve that. And I, I, like, I don't listen to music before I go out to a match. Um, I don't know, I just, I like to just train and 
catch up with like I'm, I train with my good friends so it's my like I don't have time that's my time to hang out with them as well so we kind of hang out through training so it's like library silence do you get a lot of guys coming up and like how do I get into that how do I get into that kind of shape looking for kind of training tips yeah training and, tips? and the tip is easy consistency uh, like what I work what I do isn't gonna work for you I pick something and stick with it I, I, I didn't know how to speak a language stuck with it enough I learned a second language I'm trying to learn piano right now and if I stick with it long enough I'm gonna learn piano I started lifting when I was 12 years old I just stuck with it I've made a lot of training mistakes but I never miss and that's and now here, here I am so like almost 30 years later just stick with it, trust me, just stick with it. That's consistency is the one piece of advice you should take away from that. That's great advice, John Cena, it was a pleasure. Congrats again on the film, it's a blast. Tonight, I'm tearing these out with my teeth like an old school cartoon billy goat. Honey, Mitch, those are your daughters. <laughs>